It's the story of a woman who is a survivor of childhood abuse and a mother of a disabled child who became a fundraising icon and relentless advocate for people with disabilities. And the woman behind the story joins us to talk about her new book, Unwanted, How a Mother Learned to Turn Shame, Grief, and Fear into Purpose, Passion, and Empowerment. Linda Smith joins us. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on today. Thank you. Such an inspiring story, and the title alone is enough to make your heart skip a beat when you read that, because I think we've all faced those challenges and turning those feelings into something to inspire us. How did you decide to share your story? What was it that made you want to share it? Well... You know, it, 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 we all do have stories in us, and, and I know that people see me in this town because I was with Opportunity Village for 38 years as sort of this one-dimensional person, but I, I think the story of, um, you know, my Chris was born, and I didn't want to have a disabled child. You know, when, when they told me he wouldn't live, I, I, I thought maybe that's the right thing, and, um, but how he changed my life and how kids like this can change our life and how, uh, you know, it, it just... I was a dancer and an actress, and I became this crazy disability advocate and fundraiser because of this one little guy mm -hmm. who I would at first have done anything to avoid having. Here he changed my life and, and created a life for me, and in doing so, changed the world, I think, particularly here in Las Vegas. I, I would agree with that. Of course, a lot of people may know you from Opportunity Village and how you have raised hundreds of thousands, I mean, maybe millions? Hundreds of millions. Hundreds of millions of dollars for Opportunity <laughs> Village. And d giving all that you give to the community, you just experienced a, a very tragic loss and the loss of your son, Christopher. He just recently passed away. Yeah, for a Down syndrome guy, he was, uh, you know, they, they tend to, well, from day one, they told me he wouldn't live very long. Mm -hmm. So he's basically outlived all of the doctor's orders. And, um, but, you know, when you get into your 40s, that's an, old, that's an old age for a person with a disability. And he had other complications. But still, I mean, he's the bravest little guy in the world. And he was always overcoming things that, you know, we would sort of count him out. This is too, he can't survive this. And he kept surviving. So it took me by surprise, actually. I launched the book. Next day, he went into hospital. And it was almost like he was waiting for me to launch the book oh. and then he went into hospital and then two weeks later he was gone and passed away in my arms and and even then i thought he would he he, he might survive this what was his greatest quality what made you just smile when you when you think of your son well chris he's just real and the, and and folks with intellectual disabilities that they're more like us than different from us and we tend to we tend to see a person with a disability and we we meet the disability before we meet the person mm -hmm. And they're just the kindest, most gentle, gentle and loving people. I, I'm just going to miss his butterfly kisses. And, you know, for us moms, you know, our, our grown-up boys, our guys, they don't want to be, oh, mom, hugging mom. But he was always... He was just always Aww. loving. And I, I just miss cuddling and kissing him. <laughs> well, you're going to have a celebration of his life here coming up this weekend. Tell us a little bit about that. And is this open to anyone who would like yeah, to Yeah, Chris sort of belonged to this community because of him, not just Opportunity Village, but uh, Special Olympics. A lot of programs grew. Uh, Best Buddies was, you know, grew in this town because of Chris. And, uh, and organizations around the country that I've been able to help. And so his life really had meaning. And so Christopher now... Uh, Actually, tomorrow, uh, May 15, at 5:30 uh, at Mosaic Church, we're going to have this celebration of his life. He drove a little go kart around in circles, and the go kart will be there. Aww. And his friends will be there, and uh, there's a lot of people coming. Wayne Newton, who's the godfather of of his brother, will be there. And uh, so, yes, the community is invited because Chris really had an impact on this community. Well, he sounds like an amazing person, and your story is definitely one that we want to read. The book, again, it's called Unwanted, How a Mother Learned to Turn Shame, Grief, and Fear into Purpose, Passion, and Empowerment. And you can buy it in hardcover, paperback, and ebook at lindaslife.com. All proceeds will benefit the Christopher Smith Foundation. Courtney, over to you.